Hi friends, this is Daniel Research and today I will show you how to create a cold wallet for your cryptocurrency investments. Cold wallets are disconnected from the network and are the safest place for cryptocurrency storage. As an example I will use XRP wallet but in general actually process is the same for any cryptocurrency. But before we begin, let's figure out some use cases when you need a gold wallet. Actually, it depends on how often you need to move funds. If you are a trader who needs to trade every day, obviously you need to keep your funds on the exchange. But split your funds across multiple exchanges. If anything happens to the exchange, like the story with BTC, you will at least secure a part of your deposit. The next, keep your funds that you do not use on daily basis on the desktop or online wallet. And of course, your long-term investments must be stored in the cold wallet. As a cold wallet, you can use hardware devices like Trezor, but unfortunately it doesn't support XRP tokens yet, or Ledger Nano S. But in this video I will create a paper wallet that does not require any extra device. Here is step-by-step -step guide how to create a cold wallet. We'll start with a secure environment setup. We'll create a virtual machine where we'll install uh, Linux OS and client software. Later on we'll generate keys and wallets and we'll make their backups. Next we'll try to recover from our backup. If our backup succeeds, we'll send a test transaction to check if address is correct. Later on we'll send the rest of amount and we'll destroy environment. Your current workstation is not secured by default. That is why we'll use VirtualBox to create an isolated virtual machine that we, where we'll install our new operating system. So, Let's download if you don't have it. Because I am running OS X, so I need OS X version. Click here to download. And of course, you need a fresh operating system. I will use Ubuntu. You need a desktop edition, latest version, nothing special. And let's click here to download. So let's create new virtual machine. Let's call it Ripple with Linux 64 bit. Everything is okay. Click next. Let's give it some RAM. 3 gigs, I guess would be enough. Create new hard disk. Okay, then it will be allocated. Let be 10 gigs is is okay. And click create. Okay, now we can start our virtual machine and start installing Linux. Click start. Okay, here is our image. Let's go into full screen mode. I will not try Ubuntu, I will make a new installation. Okay, we'll update Linux later. and we'll make encrypted installation. Okay, let's think about our security key. It has to be different from your regular password. Click install now. Okay. Okay, let's create a username, so let it be also Ripple and choose a password that is different from our security key. This is it, so our Linux is start to install and I will make a pause and will continue once it will be installed completely. Finally Ubuntu is installed, but before we begin to install actually 
Ripple wallet, we need to update and upgrade our operating system in order to avoid any security breaches. So let's open a terminal and type following command. This command will update our repository release. Okay, so now it's time actually to run our upgrade. This may actually take a while. Upgrade is done and we can download wallet. Actually there are many good Ripple wallets, so, but for our case I will use Ripex. Ok, we need a Linux version, so click download. Agree. And let's select. Good, download is complete and now we don't need any internet access so we can switch it off. Now let's try to install wallet. Start console. Okay, let's agree on terms. Because we don't have any wallet yet, we'll create a new one. So it would be empty wallet. File name will be wallet and we'll save to the local directory. Let's create a password for it. And here are some important things. Please write down with your pen your password, your Ripple address, And secret key. Once you complete this, hit save. Actually, this is your wallet, so now you no longer need it. Insert USB flash drive and copy your wallet file. So let's look what is inside of it. As you see, it's a text file with some digit uh, letters. Once you have copied your wallet file to the USB key, please encrypt it and keep with uh, your passphrase in a safe place. So now it's time to rehearse key recovery. Let's remove our installation. And create new one. Okay, we need to agree on terms once again. And instead of creating a new account, we'll select account file. It is actually must be copied on your USB key. But I have saved it on a desktop for demo purposes. Our wallet file and our password. Ok, open account. Great, so our account is opened and everything seems to be ok. So you are ready to start fast transaction. Just remember that some uh, specifics of Ripple requires at least uh, 20 XRP to be sent to your account in order to activate it. So currently your account is not active. But we'll use your public address 
in order to send transaction and actually track it. In order to track your transactions, you can use any blockchain explorer. Personally, I prefer BitHomp. I have pasted some random Ripple address I found in the internet to show you how it works. It shows current account balance and list of previous transactions. You can use this tab to track success of your test transaction, so remember it must be at least 20 XRPs and uh, your main transactions. So one, once you have sent all coins and you see them uh, on the blockchain explorer, you can delete your virtual environment. So let's remove it. In this video I have shown you how to set up called paper wallet for Ripple. But as I mentioned before, process in general is similar for any other coin like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dash and so on. Always use cold wallets to save your long-term cryptocurrency investments. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!